All right, what's up everyone? Dave here, and I'm really excited about what I'm about to show you. If you love Procreate, you're gonna love it even more after I show you this cool app. Okay, it's called VizRef, and it's to be used in conjunction with Procreate. Okay, let me just dive right in and kind of show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Procreate at the bottom here. And um, now let's say if I was working on a file, okay, like let's say this drawing here, I feel like Procreate has a built-in thing. If I go here and I can go to, um, let's say Canvas and I can go, I can turn on reference and then I can, I can find like a picture. Okay, so this is my reference. And hey, this is kind of cool, right? I feel like I can, um, I can zoom in on this and I've got this. Um, and I feel like that's how I always used to do things uh, using reference in Procreate. But I feel like I don't even care about that anymore. I'm gonna turn that off. And now what I'm gonna do is if I swipe up from the bottom here, okay, um, the one that looks like the light bulb, okay, it's the this one right here. I'm gonna click whoop, and drag. I'm gonna drop that over here. And it's called VizRef, okay, V-I-Z-R-E-F. And um, you can see that I've got some boards already created. And this is one, if I click on lighting here, this is one with these cool Ninja Turtles here that um, Dave uh, Raposo, okay, uh, I just love his work. And I feel like I like to do this kind of as a, just kind of a study, just kind of a practice with Procreate to learn how to use Procreate and just kind of practice my lighting. And now I'm just gonna kind of grab this middle bar here and I'm gonna kind of drag it over. And now you can see it's like that. So now I can I can kind of move this and I can kind of work this. And then I, can, I, I have this canvas over here that I can kind of move around and I can kind of work on my drawing. But I also have this over here. Now, um, now this isn't really a drawing tutorial, but the way that I like to draw is I like to work black and white to get my lighting kind of figured out. And then I like to color it later, okay, we're using blending modes. Um, so what's cool uh, right off the bat with VizRef is I can click on the image and then down at the bottom here um, with these little icons, I can click on this one right here and that'll turn it black and white, okay? So it's automatically black and white. And now if for whatever reason I wanted it face the other way, I could click on this one and boom, it's face the other way, okay? So I, I feel like especially the flipping the other way, like let's say if you have a reference of a hand or an eye or something that you're drawing and you can only find the left hand and you want it to draw the right hand. Well, instead of going into Photoshop and flipping it, you can just click it real quick here. So that's super nice, okay? And I can also double click on one and it's just gonna kind of frame it perfectly for however you want. And um, there we go. And then I can even zoom in as much as I want or bring it back um, if I want as well. Uh, granted, you are losing a little bit of screen real estate here, but for what you're getting, I think it's definitely worth it. So let's take a look at how to make one of these boards. And it's e probably e even easier than you think. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click on the home button and I'm gonna click on this blue plus sign right here. And that's gonna create an empty board right here. And now if I click on that, now I have an empty board. Now I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go to the bottom of the screen and I'm gonna grab the internet and I'm gonna drag and drop it right here, okay? Now um, I'm just on a site, uh, artstation.com and I feel like Artstation I feel like has so much great work and I feel like some cool stuff that you can kind of get inspired by. So down here I'm just kind of on channels and if I click on this I can kind of look at different things so I could find like, um, whatever I want to kind of look at. So let's say maybe comic art, okay? Maybe I want to get inspired by comic art and um, I want to look at some of this. And what I could do is I could find anything that maybe like catches my eye that I want to use maybe as a reference. And what I can do is I can just click on it and drag and drop it in there, okay? Literally that easy. I can just click and then drag. And you can see that it even aligns it perfectly for me. So I, I'm just, finding things that I'm kind of inspired by, just going through here. And um, I mean, this is nothing special on, as far as it's not because of ArtStation. I feel like I could be on uh, any website 
I could just be on Google and searching stuff and you can see how easy it is. I, I don't even have to align it. I'm just kind of dragging and dropping um, and building my reference board. Okay, whatever it is, whatever I want to do. And then I can click on this and um, if I want to use that as um, a lighting study or whatever. So I'll show you a few examples of some boards that I've made. So if I go like this, um, once again, here's the, um, like these Ninja Turtles that have cool lighting studies. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. So if I wanna kind of practice lighting. Um, I also am really inspired by um, uh, Anthony Ward's work. I love his style, okay? And I feel like I use this to um, just to practice, right? I feel like I hear some of my drawings from his drawings and um, I just love getting in there and really using these as reference. I feel like kind of neat stylized art. And now um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll look at this and I'll just go for it and I'll just um, draw that and not like, I feel like not at the creative process yet but I feel like what I'm doing is I'm just learning how to use the software. I'm just getting familiar with Procreate, okay? So I'm just kind of building a board here, but I feel like you could do anything. So I, I also have um, Drawing 101 here. Things that I wanna keep in mind that when I'm drawing, okay? I can have, um, you know, kind of find these, um, you know, things that I found online that I feel like would be helpful for when I'm drawing. And you can kind of see the sky's the limit with this thing. And I feel like you don't have to feel like you have to limit it to one thing. I mean, on this one here, let me see, on this reference one, I kind of just went all over the place, right? I feel like um, here's some anatomy reference. Um, here's, here's my dog, okay? Um, here's some coloring book stuff. So if I wanted to like import an image into Procreate or something, just color one day or something, I could do that. Um, down here, here's some great references of some hands. And like I was saying before, if I wanted to just kind of practice drawing a hand, but I want it flipped the other way, not a problem, okay? Just so easy. And um, here's some faces uh, to practice drawing. Here's some different eyes that I could be inspired by. Let's say if I'm creating a creature or something along those lines. Um, some lighting studies. And once again, just kind of a board of inspiration. But another thing that's kind of cool is I'm going to do this. If I type in, um, let's say, even if I go to the, just the regular internet, so I'm going to drag this over here, and I'm going to type in um, walk cycle gif. Okay, and I can see that all of these are gifs. So let's say this guy here. Um, and so there it is, walking. So let's say if I was doing an animation in Procreate and I wanted to kind of reference this um, as that. Well, what I could do is I could take this and I can dr drop it in here, okay? Now notice it is actually animated on VizRef. And what's cool about this is if I click on this, look at the bottom here. I'm just gonna stop this. Um, okay, so if I click on this, if I hit stop, I can break it down frame by frame right here. And that's automatically done. I feel like I've, I've never looked at this GIF before. I, I just know that any GIF is gonna work and it's broken down, okay? So you could literally kind of study animation with this. And I can see here's, um, actually this is a horse uh, GIF that I did using Procreate and I, I drew kind of frame by frame, um, just to kind of practice like a walk cycle. But I feel like, how cool is this? That you could literally break it down frame by frame. And then if I click on that, the frames go away. So if I click on the GIF, as soon as I click on this frame button down here, boom, every frame comes up. Um, this is another one that um, was found online of just some, you know, kind of some silly stuff going on. But once again, you could break it down frame by frame. So even if you're doing animation in Procreate, just awesome, awesome reference here on VizRef. So and I kind of feel like that, um, you know, that trick of 
using animation is kind of a secret thing uh, with a GIF. I think maybe not all, even a lot of people realize that. So I can also do this. Let's say if, okay, I'm going to go back to Procreate here and drag that on here. Let's say if I wanted to bring an image onto my, um, my canvas over here. Well, what I can do, I don't know, let's say if I wanted to bring um, this eyeball here. Okay, I don't know why I would in this case, but let's just say if I wanted that. I can click on the plus here and I can say, um, uh, actually, if I click on this, I think I have to click on the three dots at the bottom here. And now I can go to copy. And now on Procreate with four fingers swipe down, oh, I, I think I'm, I may have changed it. So if I go to my settings here, um, let me go to my preferences, gesture controls, copy and paste. Uh, oh, a three finger swipe down. I can see here, three finger swipe down will invoke it. So if I do three fingers, now I can hit paste and the image should come up, but I think it's behind, yeah, there it is. So if I bring that to the top, Okay, oh. well, let's see, where is that? Pasted, yep, there it is. So I, I, you can see that I can literally bring in something from Procreate so easy, right? Um, if, if for whatever reason I wanted it to be there. Now, let's say if you're like, well, I want this image to be available in my um, canvas, on my reference okay let's say you want to use this well what you would have to do is you would have to go here and then you would have to click on the three dots and um, I would say export selected okay and then I would save it as a um, JPEG and then I would save it in my images so I would save image okay now I would go to my reference over here and now I could say um, import and now here's that eyeball so I, I don't know once again why I would want that but that's how I would get it in there so if I if I wanted that like maybe I want more room to work here I could go like that and I would temporarily have that but then I could kind of swipe back and go back to my viz ref so once again I'm dragging viz ref dropping it over here and having that now um, I, I'm just gonna kind of get rid of these Okay, and then I, I obviously don't want this one. I'm just gonna kind of get the, out of there. I just wanted to show kind of how to translate photos from one to the other. Um, but let's say if, you know, I'm, I kind of want to talk about how to set this up because if I swipe up from the bottom, it's going to show, you, these are permanently there and these are your last current ones that you've used. So I feel like what I did and uh, you, you definitely don't have to do this, but what I did is I dropped everything that I thought I would need. So for example, um, I wanna have Procreate on here. I wanna have VizRef, I wanna have the internet, and heck, I, I wanna have my music ready. So I'm going to do this. Um, to do that, so if Procreate is up here, you can just literally click on it until they wiggle and then drag it down here and then drop it. And I'm dragging it to the left of this line so that's all permanently there. That way, because I feel like, let's say if this was up here, now if I was in Procreate and if I swipe up from the bottom, I'm like, oh shoot, VizRef isn't a choice. So then I would have to go back out here. Now that I used VizRef, I can see that now it became a, a recent choice. So now I would be able to do it. And I find that kind of annoying. So as long as I move the icon, on this side, okay, let's see here. So if I go here, as long as I permanently put it here, now I never have to worry about it. So I feel like you can see that I set my iPad up permanently basically to use Procreate and I have the um, things at the bottom that I leave it there because I feel like I like that multitasking um, gesture to be able to use it, okay? Now, one other thing that you can do instead of having it docked over here what i can do is if i swipe up i'll bring this ref and if i drop it here okay notice that i dropped it there and it's not 
full screen. It's actually sitting on top of Procreate. Okay. Now what's cool about that is you can um, swipe it back and then you can swipe it. You can see that arrow and now I can swipe it back out. Okay. I can swipe it like that. And I feel like if there's a little arrow tab there, okay, that now I can click on that and swipe it back out. I feel like that's kind of cool, but I feel like that only works on the right side of the canvas, and I don't really like that. I like to have, um, um, as far as the swiping back and forth, I can also click on the top here, on that little minus bar at the top, and I can kind of you know move this around. So I could have it here, but I don't think that swipe gesture, it won't hide on this side, okay? So even though that's kind of cool, and I can just take this and I can drop it here, I like to have it physically docked like that and um, be able to kind of bounce around with that. So um, once again, hopefully that was helpful. And I think that once I set up VizRef, I feel like it really has changed the way that I work with Procreate. I, I absolutely love it. And um, so what you'd want to do is you want to just go search the App Store for VizRef and I think it's uh, like $3.99, okay? Um, definitely well worth it. I have no financial gain from this. I'm not part of it at all. I'm just saying I, I wanna give a shout out to whoever made it because it is awesome. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave some comments below and good luck with Procreate and VizRef.